Canyon West, elevation over 4,000 feet above the Colorado River. Though the precise age and formation of the Grand Canyon is still under much scientific debate, it's most widely believed that the Grand Canyon was actually carved by the Colorado River as a result of hundreds of millions of years of constant erosion. If you think about it, that makes it a stunning window to hundreds and millions of years worth of Earth history laid out right before you. The Wallapai Indian Reservation consists of over a million acres of land, including 106 miles of the Grand Canyon. The temperature the temperature here at the West Rim tends to mirror our departure point over at Las Vegas. Here you'll find more of a desert environment with a desert climate to match. It's typically more dry and sunny with low levels of precipitation, if any. There are many different ways to experience the West Rim of the Grand Canyon. Some of the main points of interest are the Colorado River, which we can see right now from our exclusive landing site. The Skywalk, which is a great place to get views of the legendary Eagle Point. There's also Wallapai Ranch and Guano Point which is an incredible viewpoint that also has the ruins of an old 1930s mine. One of the best features of the West Rim is the ability to land at the bottom of the canyon just slightly above the Colorado River, something that you can't really do anywhere else. Just a quick tip, Arizona does not participate in daylight savings time, so depending on the time of year, the Arizona and Nevada time may be different, so make sure you double check on that. One thing Maverick Helicopters prides itself in is the high standards and the high experience of our pilots. Hey, Riley. Hey. <laughs> Thanks so much for checking out this video with us, guys. Be sure to stay connected with us on all our social media. Follow us on Facebook, on Instagram. We have Twitter as well, and we'll talk to you there.